Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's new makeup releases. We are going to chat about the new makeup that's been released, announced and sneak peeked and I am going to let you know whether or not I want to pick it up and then you let me know whether or not you want to pick it up. And remember, it is okay to disagree, don't hate me because I don't want to buy something that you want to buy. That means more for you, nobody needs to be enemies over colored powder. Everybody calm down. And if you haven't been here before, do consider subscribing because I do upload quite a lot of videos every week all about makeup, all about beauty, all about having fun with makeup and beauty. And I did sit down to film this look right here just before sitting down doing this video that I'm doing right now and that's gonna be live on Monday. I think Monday. Is it Tuesday? Monday or Tuesday. One of the two days next week. It's gonna be this look right here and I am thriving and if you want to see what I'm using it's going to be in the pinned comment down below and all the things that I'm going to be talking about in today's episode together with my merch shop and my other socials my vlog channel all of that my discount codes everything is going to be in the description box so don't forget to check the description box for all the info about all the things that I'm going to be talking about let me scoochie scoochie I do have a dog here so let me see so I don't like run over her because that would be unfortunate I don't think she deserves that really is it okay if I rest my foot on you, baby? Because you're a little bit in the way, okay? So, let's start talking about the House Lab blushes that are now available. I know a bunch of you were super excited to be picking these up. I did not pick any of these up because I am not a super big lover of all matte blushes. And if you are, this might be for you. I've overall been very impressed with House Labs. I'm even wearing House Labs today. This crayon is from House Labs. It's beautiful. So I will leave a link to that down below in case you were interested in that release. I don't think I have any of these releases and I honestly don't think I'm going to buy any of these releases either. I'm just scrolling through them right now. Uh, oh, I have these. I have the new palettes from Urban Decay. Who thought these were going to come out? I was surprised. When I got these in PR, I opened the box and I my husband was there next to me and I was like, I don't I don't know what this is. <laughs> I didn't know that they were doing a collab with Smiley. But let me go get them because I have them right over yonder. Okay, so there are two different palettes. It is the uh, Urban Decay and Smiley Chill Happy, which is the one that is a little bit more on the pinky side. It looks like this. And then there is one that's called Mucho Happy, which is a little bit more on the yellow neutral with a pop of a blue over here this yellow is honestly really really nice quality i got these and i was a little bit surprised but i made a video on them and they have been announced now i don't know when these are being um released but if i have some info we'll put it in the description box but i do have a video on these if you want to see two different looks see how i work with these palettes see what i thought about the quality see some swatches i will leave that video down below because that video it's already live. I was able to play with it uh, last weekend. So I think that this was a little bit of a surprising launch. Am I like super happy that these launch? Not really, but at least they're a little fun and colorful. And I do like a smaller palette. I'm just, I'm just wishing for some more mattes in Urban Decay palettes. Let's just put it like that. The next thing that I, this is the thing where I'm like, oh, I actually might pick this one up if I don't get sent it in PR. And this is the Unearthly Not in the mood <laughs> water activated liner palette the front of this one is so cool if you didn't know unearthly cosmetics is very interested the owner is very much into art but for most releases she will just hire an artist to paint something or to do something for front of her palettes and this one is a lady looking like a cow and i honestly think it's super cool i have been a little bit more into graphic liners and using liners as details lately and i did buy some um water activated liners and i think it's really cool to get like a mix of colors like this um in your in your palette there's some dark ones there's some light ones i am interested in seeing more of this i kind of want to see them swatched out but I might actually pick this one up. I do have a code with Unearthly Cosmetics. My code is Anjeshka and you'll get some money off if you make an order from the site. This one says it's coming soon. And yeah, I'm kind of intrigued because I have been into water activated li liners and just colored liners and using them as details as of lately. And there is like a, like a almost acid lime green in here. And that one looks really, really cool. 
I am about that. I also got a lot of tags in this new collection by MAC because I told you that my mom used to be a florist and I wanted to gift her some makeup with like flowers and bees on them. And this is also very cute. And this is the MAC Cosmetics collaboration with Richard Quinn. So this is an eyeshadow palette, a highlighter, a bronzer blush duo, I think. There seems to be a setting spray that I think just has the limited edition packaging and then there are some matte lipsticks and these are from what i can see existing colors coral haze lady danger mare i don't think that these are new shades but i like the packaging a lot the packaging is fun i saw a polka dot dress at zara today and i'm like is polka dots coming back because i could be about that i listen a really sexy polka dot dress this one wasn't like the model wasn't perfect for me but mm, I could really see myself getting like something polka dots. I really hope polka dots come back. Polka dots and leopard print, big fan. Big, big fan. The palette, let me see if I can pull up a picture of the palette like a little bit more so you can actually see. Let me actually pull up the swatches of the palette so that you can see the swatches. This seems to be a pastel palette with a black. And part of me is like, huh. I kind of want to try it because I kind of want to see how MAC does pastels. Is this bad of me? I feel like this is bad of me because like in the, in the actual palette, let me pull that one up. I love the packaging. In the palette, they don't look like much, but like, I'm, I'm just a little bit curious. I mean, I'm not going to end up... I, Part of me is like, oh, I really wish that I could try it out, but I'm not going to pick it up because I am still trying to be on a little bit of a low buy. I'm trying to not buy everything. So I'm trying to be smart with my purchases. And I've already decided that the thing that I am going to be picking up are those new mini palettes. Let me actually pull those up, the ones from Huda Beauty. Those are launching on Monday. So I will link those down below as well. They're already up on Sephora. Those are launching on Monday and I have decided that I'm going to pick those up. But I will say the MAC collection is really cute. So yeah I, I just i can't be reviewing everything and i also have been really enjoying lately doing videos that are not dedicated reviews and i can tell also from you and from the engagement that you're really enjoying those kind of videos as well so thank you so much by the way for all the support that you've been giving my channel lately it, it it really it makes me happy all the comments and you being excited about me trying out some new video ideas like i'm it makes me happy thank you so much for being so sweet I think by now the Glam Light and Chucky collection is sold out and I don't know if they're going to be restocking or not because they did have a pre-sale. You're going to have to ask Glam Light about that, but they might restock because they actually did announce that there are a couple of things. I'll put up just a sneak peek here. There are a couple of things that they're thinking about that they probably had in this launch that they weren't able to launch with this first launch that they might release later. She talked about lashes. I know she talked about a makeup bag. Uh, so... You're gonna have to let Glam like know if you would like to see more things in this collection. She also did hint that they have some more horror um, collabs coming in 2023. And she also has said from before that they are doing a round two with Scooby-Doo, which makes me really happy because I loved the Scooby-Doo palettes with a burning passion. So yeah, I feel like there's a lot of fun things in work. She also showed us a sneak peek of a palette that is non-licensed, like just Glam Light. That is also she's hoping to bring out uh, towards the end of the year. So I'm really excited to see the fun things that are coming from Glam Light. Uh, my code with Glam Light is also in Jessica and you can save some money off. And if you want to see my video on the Chucky collection, that one is live on my channel. If you want to see how that collection was, I actually also yesterday put up a reel on my channel where I was using the Chucky palette together with the Barbie palette because I mentioned in my review of the Chucky palette that I felt like those were just meant to be together and I loved the look that I did like a lavender black moment Ugh, super pretty and yeah I think that it could be interesting if they were to do like a restock of the collection and also launch some of these new products with that because I feel like there are some really cool things that she has been talking about and I'm excited to, to see what it is all about. This one makes me a little confused. Um, and I think, uh, okay, let me let me start like this. This is the new foundation by Guerlain. And this one is meant to be a terracotta latent foundation. And it is a velvety luminous finish with buildable coverage, combining the lightness and radiance of powder for natural feel. But this is the terracotta Latent, and you can clearly see in the 
before and after picture that she is a little like a tint darker and the terracotta line from Guerlain is their bronzer line so I'm like is this like a little tint to make you look a little bit more tan because I've been seeing a lot of people being super excited about the Bronzino drops by Drunk Elephant which is basically like a couple of bronzer drops that you put in your like in your moisturizer and makes your skin look just a like it has a little bit of a bronzy glow without being like a self a selfless tanner it's a selfless tanner selfless tanner oh my oh my but yeah i am not about that life i i just i'm not seeing well to be fair now that i think of it because it's like for me for example for me I always do self-tanner when I'm not out in the sun and when I'm out in the sun my my tan I still have tan lines from last summer my my tan stays for quite some time and my face I always lose my tan because I exfoliate so I guess a foundation that gives a little bit of a tint would be good but this is a white girl problem problem I'm using that that word very loosely here that's a white girl problem so is this a foundation made for white girls that like to tan isn't that what most makeup is? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, this is just me thinking out loud. I would love to hear your thoughts about this, but I will say it made me a little bit confused about the terracotta name of it because the terracotta is their bronzer line. Or maybe they're just expanding and it's a foundation and she's just looking a little tanner on her face and maybe she's not. Maybe, the, maybe I need new glasses. Again, it's me thinking out loud. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you don't agree with me, that's perfectly fine. I could have missed something for sure. Maybe the terracotta line is not their bronzer line at all. What do I know? I know that Dominique Cosmetics is doing a restock and she's also coming out with a new color of her uh, soft focus setting powders. And the new shade is the pink shade. I feel like the hype that was around the Huda Beauty pink powder is probably going to make every single makeup brand under the sun come out with a pink powder just watch the rest of 2023 and the beginning of 2024 just be a barrage of pink loose powders you heard it here first maybe you didn't but you heard it here as well there is a new collection between elf and ohima bonsu and she is doing a favorites box this is the elf by uh, ohima bonsu beauty box this is a curated makeup and skincare bundle containing nine of ohima's current favorite products you can buy it at elf cosmetics and you will save 25 percent off with the code ohima 25. There is a bunch of really good products in here like the Power Grip 4% Niacinamide. I've been using that a lot lately and I've really been enjoying it. There's also Lip Plumping Gloss, Mascara, Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm, the Brow Lift Applicator, the Putty Blush Brush. Oh, there's some really Oh, it's a Brow Lift product as well. I've heard some really good things about that. Should I try the Brow Lift the product from elf is that good because i also saw that colourpop had their brow lift product um at target is that good should i try tell me should i try it are any of these any good i would love to hear all about it but yeah these are available now this box is available now i will link it down below big congratulations to ohima for being able to curate a favorites box with elf oh i forgot to tell you about this as well glossier is now available at sephora if you had been eyeing glossier and you wanted to buy it from sephora instead it says it is online only right now maybe it will come back in uh, or come into stores later but right now it says online only so so check it out if you're interested. I will leave a link down below. It's not all of the products, but I will say there is quite a lot of products. I'm almost a little bit surprised at how many of the products. And maybe some of them will be in store and like the full collection is online. I don't know. If you see them in store, let us know in the comments so we know what's out there waiting for us. There's also a new concealer coming. This is from Valentino. This is the very Valentino 24 hour wear hydrating concealer. It is a multi-use creamy lightweight concealer that delivers medium coverage and brightens skin's radiance for creaseless finish that lasts all day. $35 in 20 different shades. It is coming soon to their website and to the retailer. So it's coming to Sephora as well. I don't think I'm going to be trying this one out. A lot of people have been saying that they really, really love the Valentino foundation, but it is very expensive. 
It's very expensive. Have I seen it in store somewhere? Yes, where did I see it in store? Was that last in LA maybe? Not 100% sure. I just feel like, I, I mm, let me rephrase this. I don't mind high-end makeup, but for the most part, luxury makeup just isn't for me. I haven't tried any Tom Ford yet. I have tried some Gucci beauty though, and I don't know what, what about Gucci that draws me in more than Tom Ford and Valentino. Maybe it's because Gucci fashion is a little bit more fun. So maybe I'm like expecting the makeup to be a little bit more fun. Hmm, that's interesting. Or maybe it's because I had a Gucci counter in Sweden that I could visit. That could also be it. Let me know. Do you have a luxury brand where you're like, somehow that feels more fun than other brands? For me, it would be Gucci. But yeah, this concealer is coming soon. I think I'm going to skip because I have a lot of concealers that I really love, including this one that I'm wearing today. It is a beautiful concealer. Absolutely wonderful. Like I said, it's in the pinned comment. I don't feel like I need to try a luxury concealer when I can find both drugstore and high-end ones that I really like. There is a new collection coming from Wet n Wild and this is a collab with Sesame Street. I like this one a lot more than I like the Hip Dot and Sesame Street because that one was either the stupid Kinder Egg figurines or there were palettes with pressed glitters and neither of those were something that I was interested in. I don't know if I necessarily need anything of this either. It seems to be lipsticks, lip scrubs and like lip treatments there's like a setting spray there's an eyeshadow palette there's some trios for the face i think there's a bunch of different things from what i can see of these pictures this is a big collection and it seems like people have been spotting these in stores so if you are a big sesame street fan i would definitely say to go to a place where you think wet n wild is available and see if you can find it i'll try and scour the internet and see if i can find it online as well but i don't think that this is going to be something that i run out and get even though i think it looks cute one of the reasons why i am not head over heels for wet n wild is that i actually do appreciate a packaging that's just a little bit more elevated than the wet n wild ones not that i think that like packaging really matters like if a product is good it's good but at the end of the day and this is just me i know myself and when it comes to the makeup that i reach for on a daily basis like when i'm not reviewing something on youtube i tend to reach for stuff that has good makeup and good packaging i kind of need a full package but let me know if you're a big fan of Sesame Street. I, I actually don't even know if I watched Sesame Street as a kid. I can't remember any of this, any of these characters. Not, it doesn't ring a bell. Speaking of nostalgia collabs, there's also a collab coming between uh, Catrice and My Little Pony, the original retro My Little Pony. This collection, the first one I saw this, I was like, oh, this is so cute. And then I looked a little closer at it and I'm like, this all looks something about these shadows look cheap to me and i know it seems harsh to judge something just based on how they look in the pan but sometimes you can tell with undertones of makeup what this seems weird i hear i hear listen i hear what you're hearing i hear it i you don't have to tell me but sometimes with undertones of makeup i can tell this this is just generic probably low quality makeup i i know it sounds harsh but like just looking at this i'm like i don't i don't think so and i might be maybe i'm like totally speaking out of my ass right now i did see that my friend nikki raven said that she was going to pick this up and review it because it's launching in europe first catrice's european brand so i am intrigued to see what she thinks of it maybe i'll change my mind when i see it but just based on my initial feeling when i saw this and maybe this is just me low by angie trying to talk myself out of makeup listen i need the smallest reasons to talk myself out of makeup right now because i have so much makeup i don't need to buy all of it but i think i'm gonna skip it i think the thing that i think are the cutest are those pastel uh, nail polishes those look cute and there's also another thing coming from catrice where did i put it oh it's here these are i think these are available in the us as well and these are the shine bomb lipsticks 10 different shades and there are nudes to bolts no matter what move the say shine bomb so i guess this is a shinier lipstick they look really cute i will link them down below some of those nudes look like they could be up my alley is that orange really an orange or is it like a coral because we all know that i'm down for an orange lipstick but i don't like my oranges to be blended into pink so they're a coral i want them to be a yellow based orange 
and very few lipsticks or makeup products altogether are that but it looks promising maybe that could be for me and speaking of yellow toned oranges even though i will say that maybe the color isn't show this this here this picture here this are some sneak peeks from lh cosmetics and then together with just them doing some swatches of uh, i'm guessing this is either lipsticks or cream blushes this is what i'm guessing something new is coming soon available february 24th isn't that the day that this is going up I will link it down below. I don't know what it is, but I will link it down below. Maybe I'm able to show you another picture here as well. I have no idea. Let me see if they've showed anything. Oh, there are two new shades coming in the Fantastic. Sunstone and Topaz. Oh, okay. I need to make an order. I need to make an order. Because they're using an orange heart. They're using an orange heart. Listen. Listen. If I can find a picture, I will put it here instead. You're probably already seeing that. I think it's time for me to make an order and buy those. Because they're, they're showing orange. I love, I love the Fantastics from LH Cosmetics. That is probably my favorite product from LH Cosmetics. Followed by the crayons, followed by that duo blush that they just released. Those are wonderful. Is it time for me to milk an LH Cosmetics order? Hmm. Hmm. LH Cosmetics is also available at Beauty Bay. I will try and remember to link that down below as well. Huh. I think it's time let's talk about some perfumes listen there are some pure perfumes coming out i don't think that any of these are perfect for me but i thought i'd let you know a lot of people are saying the good girl by carolina herrera is one of their favorite perfumes and she's coming out with another flanker and this is the good girl blush of the parfum and this is like a pink shoe i think this bottle is ugly as fluff this is the gaudiest ugliest ball ever if you think it's pretty like you do you but i don't think this is pretty at all i think this perfume is actually smelling like the original good girl smells really good but it is a florally perfume and that is not for me i don't do florals perfumes this one the flanker one is bergamot and mandarin and top notes and then it is ylang ylang and peony in the heart notes and vanilla absolute and tonka bean in the base notes again floral perfume not for me it is the same with this one from yo malone this is the nashi blossom cologne and this is actually exclusive to selfridges i will link it down below and this one has lemon in the top notes nashi blossom which i have no idea what that is or if i'm pronouncing it correctly in the heart notes and in the base notes it is white musk i love yo malone i think that yo malone has well, the Jo Malone is no longer with Jo Malone. She actually has uh, another perfume brand now that is called Jo Loves. But the brand Jo Malone, I think they're really good at making fragrances that are wearable, but a little bit different. They're like the bridge between traditional, like mainstream perfumes and more like niche perfumes. I feel like Jo Malone is in the bridge in between. So I really like the things that they do. But this one isn't going to be for me because again, it's it's a blossom and usually I don't do blossomy perfumes. And it's the exact same with this one. This is Goldfield and Banks Australia. And this is their Island Lush. And this says that this is part of their botanical series. And it is sandalwood and wild tropical beauty. Um, so yeah, it's, it's woods and tropical flowers. I actually have, let me go get it because I have one of their perfumes and it is delicious. So this is the one that I have from Goldfield and Banks and this is in Sunset Hour. This is a beautiful perfume. I will link this one down below as well. I actually, oh, it smells so good. If you know me, if you don't know me, I love perfumes. I love perfume more than I love makeup. Don't come for me. And I especially love unisex perfumes or more masculine perfumes. And one of my favorite type of perfumes is perfumes that are fruity, but not florally and fruity, but not too sweet. This is a unisex fruity perfume and it is very fruity, but still not overly feminine so definitely a wonderful it's almost pineapple i don't remember exactly the notes but it, this is a 
this is like an island vacation in a bottle without being too florally or too feminine i went through a sample of this one i talked about this in a perfume i'm gonna do an updated perfume video soon i promise and i used up the sample and when my husband asked me what i wanted for my birthday i actually asked for this one so he bought me this one it is for sale um on department stores like i said i will link it down below but i don't think that this uh florally one is going to be for me there is one that's called something moss rock something rock moss that one is my second favorite and eventually i will get that one and i don't think that this is like a full size i think this is like 50 mil yeah this is 50 mil nobody needs 100 mil unless it's like your absolute signature perfume just letting you know you don't need that. Essence is coming out with a, a blush and highlighter palette. So this is the Peachy Blossom blush and highlighter palette. This is available in Europe right now. It is 5.99 euros. So these are three different blushes and two different highlighters. I think this looks really cute. I know there's a lot of people out there that really love a blush palette and I'm excited to see that there's one like affordable at the drugstore. I don't know when this is coming to the US. If I can find it, I will link it down below, but I do think it looks really cute. Three different blushes two different highlighters i don't know how pigmented they are so i don't know how over how many skin tones it's going to stretch but i don't hate this release i think it looks fairly cute there's also a spring release from profusion i still have not tried profusion do i need to do i need to try profusion you're gonna have to let me know it's not gonna be this release though because this is not for me at all this is the uh, this is like a empowered butterfly collection that palette looks like another thing that's found at the reject bin over at claire's absolutely not it is very mid-tone it's got some shades that look like they're like marbled or something it's just something about that palette just it doesn't scream high quality to me they have some other palettes that look amazing this one just isn't for me and i also don't like that the only shadow that seems to be even the slightest dark is a dark brown it, in that big of a palette i am i'm gonna need something more than a mid-tone rainbow maybe i'm being too harsh again if i can find the smallest reason to not buy makeup that makes me happy i will say the blushes look really cute one is a pink with orange and one is an orange with pink i could be about that a Dazzling Wings Liquid Shimmer Eyeliner Duo also sounds interesting. Mousse blushes. Not like mousse, not like mousse. Not like the animal. Like moussey. <laughs> lip Cream Set, Glassy Lip Gloss Set, Lip Mask, Face Stickers. That sounds like something for 8 year olds. I don't know why all the lips are in sets. That is one of my also pet peeves. And I know there are brands that I love that do that as well. I like to be able to buy the lip products separately because I don't want to add three lipsticks at the same time. I just want to buy the one. Can just let me buy the one. I don't hate this collection, but I really dislike how the palette looks. That blush though, I can be aboard. This is one thing that I actually think looks incredibly interesting. And if this works, they could have a hit on their hands. And this is the new Sun Treats SPF 50 Makeup Fixing Mist by Pixie Beauty. This is an invisible broad spectrum SPF 50 mist protects, hydrates, and suits skin. You can use this under or over makeup, which means that you can bring this along and just reapply sunscreen throughout the day with a mister. Of course, the mist is not gonna give you 50 SPF unless you use like a lot, but it's still gonna give you that little extra protection so that you can just up your sunscreen a little bit throughout the day. And I honestly think that that sounds really, really cool. This is gonna be $15, which honestly, if this works, that's a pretty good price for that. And it is available now. I will link it down below. I feel like this could be a hit. If it works and it doesn't like totally melt your makeup off, I feel like this could work. Let me know what you think down below. Are you like an SPF expert? Let, it, let me know your thoughts. There's also another strawberry shortcake collection and this is by Honey Duh. Honey Duh. Like Duh. Like the French Duh. Honey Duh? I think so. This is a licensed collection and it is four different palettes and each palette is scented as well. I don't know if they're scented different scents or if it's one scent. I'm not 100% sure. The pre-order is opening on the 27th. 
I will say I really don't like palettes that are like cut out as figures. If they're, again, it's going back to the, I have so much good makeup in my collection. And when I reach for makeup, when I'm not reviewing it, I'm gonna reach for something that is good inside the packaging and also like has a good packaging. I, I need both. And I have realized with time that I really don't like pack, like packages that are like shaped like figurines like this. I don't have any of those in my collection at this point. I really do not want to add any either. I will say if you're a huge strawberry shortcake uh, fan, maybe this is perfect for you. I personally prefer the one that Glamlight has because it is a rectangular palette and I can just store it with my others. But I understand that not everyone has the same preferences as me, but that's just how I feel about it. I think it looks cute though. I like the color story, especially the one in that uh, green green striped palette the blue and the green and the orange that looks really cute i don't think this is going to be for me though but i wanted to let you know and then let's end with the the fact that um benefit is coming out with skincare i think benefit has had skincare before i don't think that this is their first go at skincare if i'm not totally just making stuff up but i think it feels like a natural fit for them to have the professional skincare i personally and maybe some people that watch me disagree but i personally don't battle with enlarged pores and if you think that my part pores are enlarged at least this, that's not something that bothers me if i have enlarged pores at least it doesn't bother me and it's not one of the parts of my face that i am trying to change i'm not trying to you understand where i'm trying trying to come from here this is coming on uh, february 26 to ulta i think you can already see the listings i will link it down below but it is like a smooth pore mask foam cleanser uh, deep retreat mask tight and tone toner oil cleanser all-in-one mask one pore care cleansing wand so it's one oh it's one of those mm, that i could be about and then a moisturizer i could be about that cleansing wand i might get that one i might get that one if you saw my video where i was talking about brands that kicked me off their pr list you know that i mentioned benefit cosmetics no hard feelings no hard feelings at all i did actually receive a pr package from uh, benefit last sunday which was very, and also from like, cause I mentioned Urban Decay as well. So I don't know if I'm back or if they just slipped. <laughs> Maybe they slipped and accidentally sent me something. But again, no hard feelings. I think I will actually, now that I look at it, buy that one because I used to have one of those cleaning ones. And they're actually really nice, especially when you have a full, full face of makeup like I have today, like, you know, you have skincare and sunscreen and makeup and foundation and concealer and powder and eyeshadow. One of those is really nice to just get all of the gunk out on your skin. So that actually might be for me. But other than that, I don't think that this is going to be the skincare brand for me. But I will say that the professional primers, actually, I think those are good primers. They have different ones for different skin types. I like the one that's light. That's the one that I'm using. I think that is really moisturizing, but not too heavy on my combo skin. So I really do enjoy that one. But yeah, I don't think that this skincare release is going to be exactly for me. I already have a bunch of skincare uh, products that I use and love but let me know if you're interested in this and I think that's going to be it for today's video let me know which are the ones that you are the most interested in I feel oh, holy holy bananas I think for me that LH Cosmetics lipstick drop got me more excited than I thought I was going to be so I think that will be the one for me where I'm like actually when that launches tomorrow, I think I'm going to be on the site buying that because I am very, very intrigued by that one. Oh, I forgot to talk about one thing. Let me just lean over and we can put it here. Fantasy Cosmetica showed us a sneak peek. She is coming out with a Rogue palette and I am very, very intrigued. We'll talk more about this next week because I'm sure that she will show me the inside by then. She also told me that she's sending me this palette in PR. My code with Fantasy Cosmetica is Angeshka and you can save 10% off your order. I am super intrigued to see how this palette looks in real life because I have seen pictures of the inside and it looks... Oh, it looks super super pretty so we'll talk more about that next week but i didn't want to forget to let you know about it because i'm not 100 sure if this one launches before next 
week's episode. Just wanted to let you know what's coming out. But yeah, I think those LH Cosmetics ones are going to be the ones that I'm the most intrigued by. And I'm also very intrigued by those uh, liners by uh, Unearthly Cosmetics because I've been using a lot of liners and because I really like Unearthly Cosmetics. I just kind of want to see some swatches before I 100% make up my mind. But let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again on, well, probably Monday for a new video. Bye.